Everybody, it's me, the loudest singing gamer, and welcome back to Decap Attack. Sorry, it has been a while, but you know, I had bug, I had, I had, um, what you call it, a little bit of bug infestation at my job. Wow, wow, um, wow, 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 inspections is going on. So yeah. And luckily, seeing how they're still investigating the problem, I have a couple days off, so I'm gonna finish this game in no time for Halloween, so let's begin. So so it's gonna be a little bit rusty, but but bear with me folks. Now we're at our other bonus stage of the beat cap attack. And like I said before, you lose one chuck, you won't get you won't get the Potions nor extra lives that you need. So let's see. So let's see which item we're gonna get. Rock three lives, which is great, and rock and a red potion. Oh, the red potion in this game extends your reach. So yeah. And we're in Elbow Island. Oh uh, uh, wait, save here. Again, yeah, this is semi-blind. So yeah, I'm playing it within a week. Oh, I'm gonna just start my Halloween. Oh no, we're getting chased by a giant total pole. But yeah, this is probably the most difficult part of the game. Run right away from this protocol. And, and what is screwed over is that um stagnant animation that Chuck does when he's in the air. I mean, not the flutter jump where he's that tripping animation, which is ripped out of Looney Tunes. So yeah, this. So yeah, this stage may throw you off. It drove me off when, when I was doing when I was trying to play this for the first time. Again, this is semi-blind. And try to ignore some of the items, because again, it's a chase level. But yeah, this level is mainly here, so. Get out of the way, freaking werewolf. It's time for the bubble to try. Oh, I just had to take the top while it's already chasing Ah, oh, crap. I told you. I, I save for a reason. But I won't do a lot of save states, so. Yeah, I have done the save states. I still say World 4 has the best music ever. It's just a generic chase music. You're gonna hear this again um, in World, I think, 5 2. And we just lost Ed. Uh, he would have been helpful during this boss fight. I always write about decap attacks that you play automatically. I wish this game had a run button. I don't know. I guess they was trying to show off the Sega Genesis of Blast processing, seeing how you don't need a run button to move your character around, but you know, it helps seeing how Chuck does his tripping animation. Same. Sorry about that, I have my nose was itchy. I had something in it. And you wanna hurry up here? Don't wanna get those items up here. Oh, oh the sweat of way to start an LP. Yeah, this is where the game gets really difficult, especially at the chase part. I mean, it's short, but the only thing that's gonna make it long that it's difficult. And you're gonna, and again, the most great about this game is that you die way too much. You die way too easy in this game. Way too easy. 
Luckily, you do get more health powers along the way, but yeah. If you touch the toe pole, that's an instant kill. You just saw there. So if I keep looking down at that part, I'll, I'll cut ahead. And the water jump is your best friend when it comes to all um, when it comes to the nice platform, especially when it's fucking chasing those. Don't water too much though, or else or else you end up all um, or else you end up moving too slow, that's why you wanna move as fast as possible. Gotta show that Sega last prophecy. I'm gonna rush over here. Oh, that part! Oh my god. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, now. Nah. Okay, we're back, folks. Yeah, I, I passed that part, so yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Telbo Island? And we got music rehashed from the um first level. Yeah, even though I like this game's soundtrack, it's sort of some par. It's like it's like Sonic One. I mean, the music is good and for the Genesis quality, but yeah, but but yeah, all um, yeah. We just lost Ed. No, screw that crap. I'm, I'm gonna get Ed back. The music is so far, but it gets very repetitive, so... Uh, screw that, total pole, yeah. Some to- Like I said before, some total poles are- Have a ghost. And some total poles in it. Some total poles don't. But you need to find some, some, some total poles, not only to find a specific item that you need during the end of stage 3 of, of, of the world, get, during the, um, boss stage of the world, but you want to find Ed, and he's our main power-up. Oh, you got other power-ups in the game, too. Let me show you that, actually. Choose the controller and choose an item. Like, the screen one right here. With that, this will allow you to freeze energy. So yeah, green potions do not revive your health, sadly. So that is disappointing. Yeah, yada. Back one. This is very help. That orange one's very helpful for the bosses. I'm not gonna use it right now. I'm gonna use it for the final boss. I mean, he's not that hard, but his projectile attacks are huge, man. Yes. This will. This will let. This will let you jump up about the ball. Yes, sorry about that. I'm trying to give Frankenstein my creepy Charlie Adner voice. And I'm not good at voice acting, but I really want to be a voice acting someday. But that's about this one. This one, this one, we got every enemy out of sight. And the blue one, let's ask. This will make you immune for attacking enemies for 10 seconds. And like I said about the red one, or explain. Oh, sorry about that. It's the... It's the Ember one. It's the Ember one that... Let me turn this. Let me turn this down. I'm sorry about that. There we go. I thought it comes through with that loud music. It's the Ember one that, that allows you to, um... To attack a long reach. This one just makes you jump higher. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Take one sip of this and it'll extend your reach. And train your punches. So yeah, if you don't have Ed the Head, this is your only primary potion that you can use. However, you got 10 seconds to do this, or else the music will reset and you have to redo it all over again. 
bonus coins and your numbers of lives. So yeah, if you ever want to use a power up, you can conceal them right over here. But we're gonna save the orange ones because those are the best power ups ever. Uh, yeah, that music was a little bit too loud. Hold on, hold on a sec, folks. I want to turn this back up again so you, so you guys can hear. <laughs> So yeah, if you don't have Ed, use the Ember Potion. It helps, especially during those boss fights. If you don't have Ed, but who wants to lose Ed to Ed? He is awesome. Terrible Island. It's more like Sunset Bleeding a Deucing Island to me. Should've been called Blood... This, this should've been called Blood Island. See how, yeah. Ed, was that a spiny... Sega! Nintendo! T Nintendo, you should have sued Sega back in 1991 when you had the chance. I don't know, I guess they were too busy with Super Mario World. And Daffy, get out of here! Oh yeah, Daffy, you're such a pain in the butt. Here, it is one of those vertical, um, levels like in Mega Man. So yeah, all we just need to do is go up. Like I said before, the first two levels are oh crap, we just lost Ed. You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna restart. We'll, we'll get Ed soon. Like I said, the first two levels are very linear in this game. It's not until the third level where emphasis on exploration and and you can't and you can't progress anywhere without having an item. Get him get out of my second game, you freaking Mario anime! What are Spideys doing in What are Spideys doing in the Attack? And Piranha Plants? Really, Sega? Nintendo, you should've sued. You should've sued. Ah, just taking a sip of water, folks. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get this done. Today, it's it's the 30th that I'm recording this. I'm gonna try to get this done all today and tomorrow. So that way, my Halloween, my Sega Halloween game will be done. But next Halloween, I will do the House of the Dead if I can get it. Oh, and it's the third stage. You know what that means? We gotta find an item. Oh, if you come over here, I think this is where we get a health upgrade. Propeller heads are somewhat annoying. They're not too much of a nuisance. The arrowheads, I can, I can dodge it's the propeller heads. Yeah, I think these enemies are ripped out of cool game. Like I said before, this game was supposed to be like based off of the Japanese game is supposed to be supposed to be based off an anime. Oh, we just got a health upgrade. Too bad we don't got enough health. Wow. Well, um, yeah, like I said before, the um, Japanese version of this game was changed. While the American version was hacked and, and they had to make some difference because, you know. I think that um, the game was based off some anime about some kid. That's why they had to change it so drastically. So yeah. That's why it's sort of horror horror theme. Even though it came out on New Year's freaking Eve. I hope you enjoy this for Halloween. Ah oh, crap, I died. You know what? Yeah, let's just, let's just die. So yeah, this is the only level where you can get a health upgrade. Like you see right there. Yeah, I'm gonna save because, you know, I don't want to die that much. Again, this is semi-blind. I'm not gonna try, I'm, I'm gonna try not to die that much in this game. So 
So yeah, we got that health upgrade yeah. after those horde of enemies. Now we gotta find the item. But I know where it is. Let's go on play some. Very annoying! Just like the Garfield fish that we're gonna see up upcoming in a sec. Attacking enemies can be very finicky in this game. Very finicky. It's like a stupid Garfield fish. I think if you come down here, you get to find our other oh, you get to find our other item. And yeah, the jellyfish scan are like the bloopers of this game. A lot of blatant Mario references, much. I don't know why Sega didn't. I don't know why um. Nintendo, I don't know why Nintendo didn't see Sega. And we found our item. And let's see what it is. Oops, I meant to go. And it's a beaker. Yeah, it's a beaker. Not a beaker from the Muppets. No. The scientist beaker. I can't wait until I get to the spiral playthrough. And make you guys all laugh. So yeah, um... So, so yeah, we found a, uh, a potion beaker. Because you hate Mondays. Please don't let this level be where you have to fight Bugs Bunny, the evil Bugs Bunny. Because I don't have head to head. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. I don't want to use all of my orange potions. I hate these gamers. They're so annoying in this game. Ridiculous. I died. Hold on, folks. I'm gonna cut ahead. Okay, folks. We're back. Yeah, sorry about that death. It's just that I need time to concentrate. It's like, every time I do a live, don't you just get that feeling every time you do a live, let's play and get that LP of a curse? But when you're, but when you're not doing it live, oh, everything's all better. Oh, people spawn on plants. But yeah, we're almost up to our boss. Let me just say, because I don't know you guys don't want to see me die over and over again. And it's a green game. It's part of working for the red game. It's not that um, hard. It's that just projectile attacks are um, annoying. Yeah, expect that once you get to the red game. Yeah, those fireball projectiles. And they hold in on you for some odd reason. Gonna use the orange one, expect me to use these a lot actually. The ember one. It's not that hard, but still. That is freaking fireballs attack holds in on you. Expect that for the red game, and, and you expect it will pass right through you. Yeah, 